Welcome to Painted Kids Studio, where we make amazing art videos. Hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so you can be notified every time we post a new art video. Hey guys, welcome back to Painted Kids, and today we're going to be doing something a little different. With everything that's been going on and being cooped up at home, it's always nice to see inspirational things out there on the interwebs. And the most recent thing that we have found is the channel Some Good News with John Krasinski. So we're going to show you guys how to make John Krasinski into his own Painted Kids character. And then you can put your own good news with your John Krasinski, like he's reporting the great news going on around your house. Alright, so let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is John's head, and we're going to just bring it down. We're going to come down at a little bit of an angle for his cheekbone. We're going to do his chin. It's just a little curve, and then we're going to bring it up. And then all the way up to the other line there. So we have a little straight line, some curve, and then his chin. Then we're just going to do two little small curves on the top for where his hair is going to sit. Now I'm going to start about halfway down. I'm going to bring it up on either side. That's part of his hairline. And then he kind of has this fun swoopy thing going on top of his head. So we're going to make his little swoop. So we're going to start at one side. We're going to go around. We're going to go in, down, up, and down. And then up, down, up, down. To kind of make it look like hair. And then attach it. So it's just big, one big crazy shape on top. And then you can put some lines through it to kind of give it a more swoopy motion. Get that quarantine hair. Alright, and now you have his hair. We're going to come over and we're going to do his ears. And his ears are just going to be like little half ovals coming out of his head. Because they don't stick out very far. And then you can put a little um, curve line and then follow the shape of the ear to kind of make it look like the inside of the ear. Just like this. There we go. And now we're going to head over and we're going to do his eyebrows. And his eyebrows are going to be really simple. Um, they're kind of thicker too. So we're going to do two little straight lines. So this is the ends of his eyebrow. Go straight and then slant up. Straight across. We're going to slant and then attach it at the bottom there. So he has this kind of a thicker eyebrows. Then we're going to do the bridge of his nose. So we're just going to do two straight lines, almost like you're making an 11. And then when he smiles, he kind of has these lines that come up under his eyes. So we're going to do little lines here. So the, the nose lines and the eyebrows should make almost like um, a box. And then we're going to put in his nose. And his nose is almost like a heart shape, but you don't attach it in the middle. Now we're going to start off with his beard. So we're going to make a straight line across, but we're not going to connect it on the ends. And then we're going to angle it down. And that's the first part of his beard there. Do a straight line and then a curve at the bottom for his smile and then two little lines on the end there to show where uh, his cheeks are going up and then he can do like a line across to show his teeth but we don't want to connect it and then just some little hair lines like we did in his hair on top to show uh, where the beard is coming out of his chin and then for his eyes I'm just gonna give him circle eyes if you guys want to give him like little sparkles in his eyes like Miss Kate does or if you want to do um, your own kind of eyes or more realistic eyes go right ahead but I just like to do circles with characters like this now we're gonna draw his suit so we're gonna do a triangle for his collar just right underneath the chin there and then we're gonna do two straight lines down and we're gonna angle and then go up angle and then go up and now we can do a um, circle, and that's going to show the knot of his tie, but it's kind of uh, hidden underneath his collar, so you're just going to do kind of like a half curve. And then we're going to do two lines on either side, and then we're going to bring that line down. It's like the fold of his suit jacket, because he always wears a suit jacket on his show. So we're going to just bring that down, and then we're going to bring it down on the other side too, almost like a triangle, but you're not going to actually um, make the ends come to a point. And then two straight lines for the rest of his tie. And you can design his tie any way you want. You can even put a pattern on there, but I'm just going to keep it simple and just do a basic tie. Now here's the hard part. This is where we're going to do his arms. So we're going to come over and down. Okay, that's his shoulder and then um, the, his, his arm. And then we're going to have it bent. So we're going to do a straight line there. And then we're going to do a curve, and then we're going to bring it over, and that's where his arm is bending. And then we're going to do a line up, and it's going to connect with the shoulder, so it's like the line of his um, suit jacket, because you can always see like where the shoulders are. And then we're going to bring it out and down and around for his fist, and then bring it a curve around there. And then we're going to do a half circle to show like the button on his cuff, and then we'll just do a couple lines. And this is just a simple hand. This isn't too technical. If you want to make it more technical, you can. And then just a little um, straight line with a curve for a thumb. I'm going to do the same thing the other side, so we're going to make a little line, and then we're going to bring it down and curve almost like um, a hook, and then a straight line up, 
then we're gonna bring it over and then back down into like a curve then we're gonna do a button so that's the jacket we're actually gonna have him doing a pointing motion with his thumb then we're gonna do a little long rectangle for the his shirt and then another square for his fist and then a longer rectangle for his fingers and then a thumb so just a curve and a diagonal line for the thumb and then we're just gonna do a straight line for the tabletop and then we're just gonna bring it all the way across so now he's sitting at his table and there's your John Krasinski now if you want you can stop here if you want but if you want to make it more fun we can do his whole table and we can actually get a little silly here and instead of just showing his top half we can show what he what kind of pants he's wearing so we're gonna show his legs now so for his legs it's really easy we're just gonna bring a straight line down and then a straight line on either side so that first line we did is the middle of his legs and then we're gonna straight down the rest on either side and then we're gonna make a big M and that's going to be his feet so we do straight across for the feet and then we'll do another straight line for like the soles of his shoes showing and I'm gonna give him bunny slippers and you guys can design this any way you want you can make it any kind of silliness that you want if you have like monster toe slippers you can give him monster toe slippers if you want to make him just with like loafers or something you can do that too or give him super fuzzy slippers but I like bunny slippers so I'm just going through and I'm erasing the lines. Um, when you guys are doing this, I do suggest you use pencil so that way you can erase any lines that you don't like. I know um, when you're doing these videos, we can go kind of fast, so it's always nice to be able to do it in pencil so you can um, correct any mistakes you make. Put a little eyes on my bunny slippers and just put little noses. And they're just little upside down triangles. I'm gonna put little whiskers on. Cause we just like to be silly here. And then I'm going to do like the inside of the ear, so I did kind of like these long leaf shapes for um, the inside of his ears. And if you've done videos with Miss Kate before, you know how to do your bunny ears. And then um, that way I can color them the inside pink. And then I'm going to design his pajama pants. And I have a pair of polka dotted pants, so I'm going to give him polka dots. And you guys can do any pattern you want. You can do stars, you can do galaxy, you can do stripes, you can do all sorts of silly things if you want. Um, because you know when you're doing videos at home you don't always have to put on suit pants so just make it super silly make it any way you want and there are his polka dots now I don't want him just to be floating I wanted to actually be sitting down so I'm gonna make his chair so I'm gonna just do two little rectangles on either side of him and then a long rectangle down and that'll represent like the legs but you can't really see them because his legs are blocking it but I just want to make it look like he's actually sitting on something and now um, I'm gonna put his logo in and you guys can design it any way you want you can make them big bubble letters you can make them you know um, big thick letters like I'm doing I really like the color this um, magenta kind of color so I'm just gonna do that but um, S G N some good news so you guys can design it any way you want and the whole point of this is to make it feel like he's reporting on our good news and it helps us think about all the things that are going going on in our house and the fun things we get to do so in his little um, videos he always has a little block that shows the picture of the good news he's talking about and so my daughter and I we actually got to plant some flowers in the garden and she is four years old so this is her first time ever planting in a garden so in my house that's some pretty fun good news so I'm gonna make some dirt I'm gonna draw a flower and it might not seem like a big thing but you know what it was super fun for her and she had a blast doing it so I'm gonna make some uh, make kind of like a daisy flower here so whatever good news is going on in your house, you know, maybe you have a new baby brother or sister, or maybe, you know, you've learned a new trick, or maybe you've learned to ride your bike, or anything that's going on in your life that is just good news to you, feel free to draw it any way you want. And so I'm going to write down here at the bottom, so that way um, you guys know exactly what the picture is supposed to be about. We planted flowers in our garden, and just like that. And then once you're done with this part, it's time to color or paint or do whatever. If you have paper, if you have canvas, if you have paints at home, it doesn't matter what you do it with. So now it's time to color. Now you guys can color any way you want, but I'm going to make sure to do his suit very serious colors like navy. And then um, make his pajama pants like really silly colors and like... Um, bright blue and purple and all that kind of stuff so but he has um, some pretty peachy skin and brown brown hair so that's 
that's what I'm gonna do first and then I'm just gonna do everything else so we love to hear all the good things that are going on in, in our students lives especially since we don't get to see you guys at school and we miss you so much so if you do this drawing with John we would love to see it we would love to get um, pictures from you guys doing this and we would love to hear all your good news so feel free to send it to us or send it to John himself and we have both those links in the description below so that way you guys can share your good news if you guys like this video keep on watching keep on coming back thanks so much so much for watching and we are posting every single day at one o'clock and sometimes we'll have bonus videos just like this one so if you guys like this video give it a thumbs up and we hope that we will see you guys again soon thanks for watching